Paulina Aguirre and uh, I am from Ecuador. I live in Los Angeles. I won a Grammy in 2009 and I have five nominations. I've been very blessed in this country and I'm very grateful. I am promoting uh, my single uh, called Little Canoe or Canoita and it speaks about uh, well many, many immigrants coming to the land of the dreams, to the land of the free, uh, coming with dreams and just uh, wanted to have a better life for, their, for them and their families and that's what my music is about, what this song especially is about. And what it's inspired you to write that song? Well, I just think that um, a lot of the people coming to the U.S. and all of, a lot of the people right now in the U.S. are, uh, you know, we're la are Latinos, and I'm proud to be a uh, Latina. And I think, uh, you know, a way that we can embrace uh, different people is uh, embracing their cultures, respecting them, and uh, I think music is a great way to, you know, uh, share, to open hearts, and to uh, just be free. Well, um, th this song, uh, Little Cano, uh, was written by myself, uh, Vico C. He's a Puerto Rican rapper. Uh, he's also called a philo philosopher or El Filosofo <laughs> because he works with a lot of poems and just a lot of thoughts and you know, uh, very smart. And it was produced, uh, produced by my husband, Pablo Aguirre. He's also the producer for Marco Antonio Solis and so, uh, many different other artists. And I have also a taboo of the Black Eyed Peas that he... Uh, uh, you know, maybe kind of we can say rap and sing at the same time in the, in the song. And also uh, my friend Francisco Ruiz from, from Ecuador that he actually used to work with Bobby McFerrin. So we have a really nice uh, mix of instrumentalists and uh, just the, 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 the style of music is, speaks about, you know, what, Latino America. Mm. And uh, how did you get hooked up with Taboo? I met Taboo a few years ago. Uh, somebody from BMI told me that he wanted to ride with several writers, so he uh, wanted to ride with a singer that was a writer, but at the same time was a spiritual. So um, Jelly Orjuela, the vice president, said, you know, I think he's probably talking about you, so why don't you go? And then uh, we wrote uh, his single, uh, Zumbao, that was uh, his single in 2014, and that was the way that I met him. So as he's uh, Mexican-American and he's also, uh, uh, you know, from a tribe uh, from the U.S., he really wanted to, you know, express his Latino side out of, uh, you know, the song. We're releasing a lyric video and also we are doing a video uh, about uh, we Latinos. I mean, like our faces, our culture, our food, our feelings, everything that we express and have in our hearts. We're very uh, family, family oriented. So, uh, you know, it's very funny, but when uh, we are going to the airport to leave our mother or somebody, is all the family is going, you know. It doesn't matter if you go to the store or whatever, you know, we're very family oriented and that's what's, not, what's nice about Latinos. So we're expecting that this song can really, uh, you know, touch to the heart of, uh, of different people and know that. It's also a song uh, of being awake because I think we're living in difficult times and we really have to focus on what is important for our community. Uh, we really want to have as many people really watching this video because it really has a, you know, a, a, a sentiment. It has a, an emotion. It has a message which is deep. It's not just, uh, you know, <laughs> a random idea, but it's something that is really out of the heart and I really hope you like it. 
We have also the, the side of what, how difficult it is for an immigrant to come here uh, to the United States and also be here and start a new life because uh, it creates a lot of the dysfunction in the family as they leave their, con their country and they want to start a new life. So especially as I have a foundation for women, Mujer de Fe Foundation, um, I, I do know that there, you know, there are women that come to the U.S. Uh, seeking for a better future for their kids. And when they come here, uh, they don't know, well, English, which is a very important, and they don't know how to act. This is such a big city, Los Angeles. So um, I think it's very important to have education and uh, as a community and as people, we need to finish our school. We really need to do something about us so we can have better futures, but that's going to depend on education, definitely. So I think, uh, you know, community has to focus on education and, and that's going to definitely lead us to a different future. So that's what uh, my foundation and that's what, um, you know, I, I think Latinos, we have to center our lives. Su piel es de cobre curtida de sol. Las manos partidas de tierra y olvido y sin razón El llanto es agua, agua son los sueños cayendo dormidos Ahí van por el río mojando el dolor buscando un poco de amor Canoita, eh, canoita, eh, baja de la maca Porque la marea está alta y se nos lleva a la maca Porque la marea está alta Qué bonitas manos rayadas con callo y dolor, bendecidas por el cielo que mira el sudor. Qué bonita el joven que atrás la pistola dejó y ahora solo lleva sangre del hijo de Dios. Hermosa la madre que vende en la luz, hermoso el barrendero. Que se fueron, desaparecieron yeah. 